What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and with the French Open only just around the corner I thought it'd be a good idea to go through all the WTA players that are serious contenders and players to watch out for at the French Open Some players that maybe some of you haven't thought of on the women's side of tennis Of course, we've got the big names and the big guns But there's some players that have been sneaking through the drawers of smaller tournaments getting some clay court wins So let's go have a look at the list of the players that you should be watching out for at the French Open Let's start with the obvious one Ash Barty the world number one She is the joint defending champion because she didn't play last year and defend her title. So she's defending the points that she made at the 2019 French Open. Her preparations have been great this year. 13 wins, only three losses, and she has the one title as well on the clay, which was at the Stuttgart Open. And she also made the final of the Madrid Open. So some really good wins there. And to go with that, she's got some big wins over really good quality players, including Sabalenka. She's beaten her, Svetlina as well, and the reigning French Open champions, Fiontek. So she has some really big wins over some key contenders that are happening at the French Open. So that'll give her a lot of confidence going in to next week. Let's have a look at one of the players that's outside of the top 20, Kudamatova. She started the clay court season on fire. She's won 13 matches and she's only lost the three. And like I said, won that title in Charleston. And she also made a semi-final of Istanbul. She's had some great form going into the French Open and she's got some big wins. She's beaten Mertens, Badosa and Burton. So some really good clay court players in that mix as well. So definitely one to watch out for. Being the 30th in the world means that she's going to be a lower seed but she will avoid those big names until at least the third round. So if the draw plays out, watch out for Kudamatova. Another player that is outside of the top 30, Paula Badosa. She has just snuck under the radar this season, but she has some big wins over big players. Again, 13 wins, only the two losses on the clay, including a title, that title being at the Serbia Open. And she also made the semi-finals of the Madrid Open. But again, she has some big wins over good clay court players. She's beaten Bencic. She's beaten the world number one, Ash Barty, which is definitely a good win, and also Sevastova. So some really big wins there for Badosa. She is on the verge of being seeded for that event. 34 in the world, remember there's 32 seeds. So she might just sneak in and get a seed at this event, which means she'll avoid those big names early. Next player to watch out for, pretty obvious one. Igis Fiontek, the favorite to win the French Open, according to the bookies. She's currently world number nine, obviously the defending champion as well. She's had eight wins, only the one loss on the clay this season. And she also won a title as well, which was last week back in Rome, winning that final against Pliskova, six love, six love. She also made the third round of the Madrid Open as well. Some big wins on the clay. She's beaten fellow top 10 players, Svetlina and Pliskova, and also beaten Coco Goff, which is a good win because Goff has been in a little bit of form lately on the clay as well well. So obviously got to watch out for the defending champion. Speaking of Goff, she's number 25 in the world. She's a career high ranking at the moment. Definitely one to watch at the French Open. She's won 12 matches on the clay, only three losses. And she has that one title she won last week back in Parma. She also made the semifinals of the Rome Open as well. And she has some big wins over good clay court players. She's beaten Sabalenka, a player that's been in a lot of form this season, obviously beating Barty as well, and Sakari. So she's got some good wins. And with that title back in Parma last week, she's going into the French Open with a bit of a win streak. And she'll definitely be seeded going into the French at number 25 in the world. So watch out for Coco Goff. And the final player to watch out for is Arena Sabalenka. She's the world number four currently. So she will be seeded number three because remember Simona Heller the number three in the world has pulled out of the French Open. So Sabalenka is going to be top three. And if she gets a good draw, she might be put down in the bottom half where she'll play Osaka, who we know isn't great on the clay. She's got 11 wins, two losses on the year, including the one title, that title being a big one. The Madrid Open, a huge title on the WTA. She also made the final of Stuttgart, losing to Ash Barty in that one. But the most impressive thing about Sabalenka this season on the clay has been the wins. She's beaten Halep in a very dominating performance. She also beat Ash Barty in the final of Madrid. And also Pagula, who has been a really good player in 2021. So Sabalenka is definitely one to watch out for, especially if she gets a good draw. Gets put in the bottom half with Osaka because I don't expect Osaka to do too much at the French Open this year. But Sabalenka, if she gets a good draw, semi-finals are hers for the taking. So there they are, the players that I'm most excited to watch out for during the French Open. Let me know down in the comments below though. Is there anyone that I've missed? Are there any players that you are excited to watch out for? WTA is so wide open. All of those players could lose in the first round. That is an absolute possibility, but I'm expecting them to do great things. But again, let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited to maybe watch Serena on the clay? Maybe Osaka. Maybe she can turn her form around. She hasn't been in great form on the clay. We all know that. So the French Open starts next week, and those are the players that I'm most looking forward to on the women's side.